For most of us, our childhood home maintains a certain level of mythology alongside a whole bunch of sentimental attachment thrown in for good measure. As we grow older, most of us tend to move out of our first home and if we're lucky, maintain a keepsake of it in the form of a picture or something of the sort. For the rest of us, the best we can generally do is pull up what it used to look like from our memories and be reminded of simpler times. All that being said, let's be honest, celebrities aren't normal people. Take for instance comedian and actor Mike Epps. Thanks to his monumental success in the field of comedy, he's earned enough money to buy up multiple residences in his hometown of India. Indianapolis, Indiana. This includes the home he was born and raised in, while also ensuring that the neighborhood that helped shape him benefits from having done so, by repurposing an abandoned crack house and renovating it into a place that's perfect for a young family just starting out. Of course, just because Mike's never forgotten where he came from doesn't mean he isn't willing to shell out a pool million or two, or even three for a quintessential Hollywood home located in the LA neighborhood known as Encino. And with an estimated net worth of over $6 million, it's clear that Mike can afford it. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we're seeing the properties of Mike Epps both in Indianapolis and Los Angeles. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram if you want to chat. Now let's get into this video. Mike Epps was born in the city of Indianapolis, Indiana on November 18, 1970. As a young kid, Mike would generally split his time between two family homes in the state of Indiana. First, his mother's house in the capital city of Indianapolis, where he spent most of the year alongside his eight siblings on the east side of the city along Carlton Street. And his grandparents' home located in Gary, Indiana, which is where Mike would spend his summers as a kid. Over the years, Mike has said that being part of such a large family would lead directly into his career choice because in order to compete with his eight other siblings for his mother's affection, he was always trying to goof off and make her laugh. Eventually, however, this willingness to do anything for a laugh transformed into something a little bit seedier. By the time Mike was a teenager, he was dropping out of high school so that he could start dealing drugs. Considering the fact that his neighborhood held an active crack den in the middle of it, Mike's falling in with the wrong crowd shouldn't come as that much of a surprise. But after spending some time in prison, Mike finally recognized what everyone else around him did from the start. He was a born entertainer. So Mike entered a stand-up contest at an Indiana comedy club to restart his life. Epp was an instantaneous hit. Driven by his success, Mike finally left his home state of Indiana with only 80 bucks in his pocket and moved to Atlanta, Georgia to launch his stand-up career. The rest is, as they say, history. But the great thing about Mike is that his difficult upbringing ensured that he never once forgot about where he came from. Even after earning himself some millions, Mike took that money with him back to Indianapolis to reinvest it into his community. For instance, remember that crack house I mentioned earlier? Well, as an adult, Mike bought it up for the low price of $49,000 and immediately set to work renovating it, transforming it into a lovely home that's the perfect place for a new family looking to get themselves established. Upon its completion, Mike took to social media to let everyone know what he had accomplished and challenged other celebrities to hashtag buy your block back so as to pay forward all the blessings that have come their way. And he didn't just stop there. Back when Mike was still a relatively young man, his mother lost their family home in the 80s. His family was so heartbroken over what had happened that Mike promised his family he would one day buy it back for her. Well, guess what? That's exactly what he did. After finding success in Hollywood with films like Next Friday and Bait, Mike put some of his first big paychecks towards buying back his original family home right around the year 2000. Since then, Mike has totally renovated his original residence, which he intends on leaving to his daughters as a piece of their family legacy. In the meantime, he appears to have turned the spot into a mixture of dance club, a movie theater, and a fully functional homestyle kitchen. To be honest, I'm not completely sure that's his place, but it definitely matches Mike's personality 100%. Of course, it's not only his family's original block that holds special memories for Mike. Whenever he's in Indiana, he also likes to stop off at the home he used to spend his summers in, his grandparents' old place in Gary. It's unclear if Mike owns this property, but looking at how he's situated himself on the fence there, my best guess is that he was stopping by for a look and wanted to remember the moment. So it's pretty clear that few celebrities maintain such a strong relationship with where they're from. 
and that makes everything that Mike's done here all the more refreshing to see. All right, now that we have a taste of what Mike's original home and neighborhood was like, let's see what he upgraded to after becoming one of Hollywood's most prolific comedians. Mike bought his first big mansion in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Encino for $3.4 million in the late 2000s with the intent of sharing it with his then wife, Michelle McCain Epps. But what he really wound up sharing it with was his $3 million car collection. Originally built in 1990, this home features an open floor plan that includes not only a media room with a web bar, but two libraries alongside five bedrooms and six bathrooms. For those of you keeping track at home, that's a bunch of rooms spread out over 6,828 square feet of space and two different levels. Taking a look at some of the rooms individually, the absolutely gigantic family room seems like it would be better suited for something like a Swiss chalet with its breathtaking wooden beam ceilings. When it comes to the dining room, the interesting fabric of the wallpaper alongside those coffered ceilings are bound to generate some conversation. Then the kitchen is just as nice with a culinary space so massive that nearly every appliance within it comes in pairs. Seriously, it's got two cooktops, two refrigerators, and even two sets of double oven. Even the master bedroom is about as grand as they come with stylish furniture and a seating area set into a wall of windows that's just perfect for curling up with a good book. Meanwhile, Outback gives the interiors a run for their money. This is where you could find the swimming pool and spa combo surrounded on all sides by a gorgeous flagstone and some very well manicured lawns. Now as gorgeous as this home was, unfortunately it wasn't meant to be Mike's forever, nor was his wife for that matter. After close to a decade of marriage, Mike and Michelle filed for divorce, offloading this property in the process and selling it for around $3.5 million, which was only the slightest of gains. But Mike wasn't meant to be a single man for long. He found love once more with Oprah Network executive Kyra Robinson and married her in 2019. While speaking with The Breakfast Club recently, he told them, it did look fast, but you know, I like to be married. I don't like being single. I'm one of those guys. I like to come home to something structured. Some food, a little something, someone to share my day with. Since then, Mike and Kara have had two children and they even named their daughter after Mike's home state, Indiana. Between that and buying up all those ties to his former home city, is there seriously any comedian that reps their home city harder than Mike Epps? There is, I'd be hard pressed to find them. All right guys, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. What did you think of Mike Epps' former homes? And where do you think the funny man spends most of his days now? Be sure to leave us your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Kara, feel free to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.